This week we're in Silicon Valley and preparations are well underway for tonight's prestigious Tech Awards. Among this year's laureates is Naimur Rahman, who runs One World's Lifelines program in India. It's designed to offer life-saving information to farmers via their phones. Whatever their problem with their crops or livestock, Lifelines can provide them with an answer from the best qualified experts in the country. Now all the laureates have a few hours to put the finishing touches to their public displays. My hopes are for all of our laureates to have an incredibly enriching experience here, meeting one another, and also networking with the venture philanthropists, the partners, and the others that we're able to assemble for them here in Silicon Valley. So it's a very, very interesting mix of telephony and web together. Uh, but more importantly, it's also, it also actually providing information, the right information to the farmer at the right time, which which changes his crop. Many times actually saves the crop. I mean, one of the farmers once said, I said, what's your productivity? He said, 100%. I said, it can't be 100%. He said, without that information, my crop would have been uh, completely ruined. So for me, it's 100%. Cisco is very proud to be partners with the Lifelines India project, supplying the IP telephony backbone for the farmer solution. So yes, I think it's a fantastic opportunity for the organization to get more recognition for the solution and the accomplishments so far, and also to build social networks to help uh, scale it and uh, grow it in other regions. Uh, we'd like to continue to be partners and uh, thinking about not only how to continue the sustained solution in the region where it's already located, but also to ha how to scale it effectively. And there's certainly no lack of scale or spectacle as more than a thousand guests assemble for the climax of the awards ceremony. provides us with an opportunity to celebrate those who have seen a human need and dedicated themselves to creating a solution, giving us all a sense of hope for the future, a view of what is possible. We can't imagine a better world, and tonight we'll meet the people who are making that happen. One World South Asia employs telephone and database technology to connect poor farmers to critical agricultural information. There is little margin for error in the work of poor farmers. A disease among crops or livestock quickly destroys a family's income, threatens their survival, and deepens food shortages. Unfortunately, vulnerable farming communities rarely have access to vital agricultural research. One World South Asia uses a combination of telephones and web technology to create lifelines for farmers. Farmers simply call with a query and lifelines workers either find the solution in their database or contact leading agricultural experts for new information. With a second call, farmers hear answers that can save their livelihoods. Users do not need to be literate or spend money to receive equal access to crucial, up-to-date agricultural solutions. One World South Asia. like coming in the TED uh, Tech Museum 
because the museum kind of sounds very nice in my ears because I keep talking about poverty museums. So that when our children or grandchildren would like to know what poverty is all about, we'll take them to the poverty museum to show what it was like because there's, there'll be no one in the world who will be a poor person. And that is the power of technology which you hold. If you aim at it, if we all aim at it, it can be done. Let's believe in it. Let's work for it. Thank you very much for being here.